Welcome back to another DaVinci Resolve video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to be using video and picture transitions. So to get started, I'm going to just import this whole folder that has a bunch of pictures. I'm going to left click and drag the entire folder into here and it just brings over all of the pictures. I could have also um, done this, brought it into the, uh, uh, under this bin area and it create, would have created a bin. So now I have all these pictures and then also everything in that folder is now showing as a bin or as a an organized folder of all these different uh, video clips. But I'm going to go back here to the master and I'm just going to drag a few pictures in so we'll just put these in the timeline. We're going to do like a little picture slideshow here uh, with a couple pictures and maybe even a video clip. Let's go back to the a video clip here. I'll just grab a super quick part of this video. I'll click here to start set the end point, wait two seconds, click out and stop and then we'll have a little video clip here as well. So I'm going to shorten some of these and make them uh, just so they're not quite so long. <laughs> we'll just do that just like that. So I'm going to zoom in on my timeline here, click plus a couple times, we'll move these right here. So this one has audio associated with it and maybe I just don't want any audio associated. So um, one thing I can do, I can come over here on the audio and right click and, I, and where it says link clips, I can just left click that and now they'll be unlinked. And now I can actually move this audio independently and I can just get rid of it too. I can hit the delete key or the backspace key and that audio will just dis uh, disappear. Um, so for transitions on these looks like they're um, not incredibly long. Right now if we just play this it shows over here what our thing looks like. This is actually too long. Let's just shorten the whole thing up a little bit. We'll just do like this and then we'll delete this. Okay, so now we've got, I guess we just have three, oh, whoops, we don't want to delete that whole thing. Control Z brings it back. I'm just going to shorten it down to there because I want a nice short little thing here. So it plays this one, then it'll play this next picture, then this picture, and then this video clip last of all. Great. So to add in transitions, we click over here under Effects Library. So if we click this, it'll actually, oh, it was already open for us. But if we click it, it opens up down here at the bottom. And if we want to see it in greater detail, we can unclick the media pool. And now we see just the effects library over here. So again, you know, that's a little bit getting used to. That's how all these things toggle. So now nothing selected. So it just shows our uh, viewer windows and our timeline. If we click media pool, it shows only media pool. If we unclick media pool and click effects library, it shows only effects library. So we can add in a transition. We have video transitions. We have audio transitions and we have more effects that we'll cover in later videos. But under video transitions, we have these different ones. So we have like, um, we'll just do this top one, additive dissolve. I'll left click and drag it between these two and then that'll have a little dissolve. So when we're playing this, it'll sort of dissolve into that next one using the additive dissolve. Um, we have these other ones. We can do arrow iris and use that for the next one. We can come down here and do a push for this next one over here. And so now we'll see some different transitions we have. We got that dissolved, then we have the arrow, and then we have the push to the side. So that's just doing some different transitions there. And again, we have these, we can still adjust the clip and the transition will stay there, which is nice. So we can kind of adjust these if we want to. If we want to replace it, we can just drag and drop like this heart one. If we drag it over, it'll replace it. So now we have the heart transition instead of the dissolve transition. It doesn't mix them together, it just does whatever the last one you put on there was. And if we want to get rid of transition altogether, we just left click. If we left click, it'll actually do a red selection over the transition and then hit the delete key. And now that transition is gone. So just left click kind of on the box for the transition and delete key will get rid of that transition. And there's some different ones here. We've got like different kinds of, uh, you know, we can wipe across the screen, we can do a slide and a push. So just some different transitions there and they work for pictures or video. So that's kind of a cool way to do transitions. Um, I want to show you one more thing too, a little bit not quite related but sort of. If we make this a little bit longer, I want to show you the difference between the delete and backspace. Um, so if we grab our blade tool, oh whoops, control Z, grab the blade tool and we just cut this up a few times and then go back to our selection tool. If we click on a video clip and it's selected in red, if we hit the backspace key, it just deletes that clip and there's a big gap there. So then we can move around and do something with these other clips. We can bring them in here like this. But if that's something we're wanting to do anyway, is have those clips automatically um, come in, we can left click and hit the delete key. 
and that will delete the clip and shorten everything to kind of fit into there where the other clip was. So hitting the delete key does a different type of delete than doing the backspace key, which backspace just leaves that empty gap. So just be aware of that. In the next video, we're going to look at video and audio effects. So stay tuned for that video. Go ahead and leave your comments, questions below uh, relating to transitions or anything with the DaVinci Resolve video editing. And I'll catch you in the next video.